to all of you dear members board of directors and senior management i am vikas bhatia chief financial officer i extend a warm welcome to all of you to the 17th annual general meeting of our company servotech power system limited which is being held today through video conferencing pursuant to the article 65 of the memorandum of association and articles of association mr ramon bhatia our managing director shall act as the chairperson of this annual journal meeting before i proceed further let me introduce your board of directors who are joining this agm through video conferencing first of all mr rasail khurana independent director and chairman of audit committee nomination and remuneration committee and stakeholders relationship committee is joining this agm from delhi mr anupam gupta independent director is joining this agm from delhi dr rajesh mohan rai independent director and chairperson of corporate social responsibility committee is joining this agm from delhi mrs sarika bhatia full time director is joining this agm from delhi mr nimesh malhotra full time director is joining this agm from delhi apart from them we are also have key management personnel and senior management who joining from their respective locations mr arun jalan partner gupta jalan and associates statutory auditors and mr devrata deep nath partner r&d and company secretaries scrutinizer and secretarial auditors have also joined this meeting before i hand over the proceedings to mr ron bhatia chairperson to declare the meeting open i would to request priya pandey company secretary to let the members be aware of certain regulatory matters thanks to all of you priya thank you vikas sir i would like to take first of all i would like to wish everybody once again a very good morning and welcome to our 17th annual general meeting as stated by vikas sir let me take you through with certain points here the joining to this meeting open 30 minutes before the scheduled time of the commencement of this meeting which is 11 am and it will remain open for another 15 minutes after the end of the meeting as mentioned in the notice the facility of participation at the agm through video conferencing or other audio visual means have been made available on first come and first serve basis except for large shareholders promoters institutional investors directors kmps as well as the auditors who are allowed to attend the agm without any restriction on account of first come first serve basis members who have not voted during the e voting can cast their votes during this period the auditors report secretary law auditors report register of directors and key managerial personnel the register of contracts and arrangements have been made available electronically for inspection by the members during the meeting subsequently subsequent to the ministry of corporate affairs circular dated 8 april 2020 the facility to appoint proxy to attend the meeting and cast vote for the members is not available at this meeting since we are conducting this meeting through video conferencing the register office of the company situated at new delhi shall be deemed as the venue of this agm and proceedings of the agm shall be deemed to be made here at with this now i hand over the proceedings to the chairperson and our managing director ram sir for his chairman speech over to you sir thank you priya uh good morning everybody i welcome you all to the 17th annual general meeting of your company i am attending this agm from delhi i would like to mention that in view of the massive outbreak of the covid pandemic social distance is a norm to be followed and therefore this agm today has been convened through video conferencing in compliance with the Company Act 2013, with the specific circular issued by the quorum being present, I declare the meeting open. Dear members, first and foremost, I hope and pray that you all and your families are safe. Past 18 months have been very challenging time for all of us. My heart goes out of to all those who have suffered the terrible loss of a loved. one during this pandemic before i deliberate on various aspects of my speech let me take this opportunity to pay our sincere sincere gratitude to each one working at the front line combating the 
pandemic to make this world safer and more convenient for all of us the medical community sanitization workers essential services providers and the law enforcement agencies this period has been has once again proved the strength that all our stakeholders bring to us be it employee vendor customer and of course the shareholders including the sponsors our employees stood like true corona warriors and come forward at the availability of slightest window of opportunity they showed exemplary courage and determination my heartfelt thanks to all the stakeholders and in particular the employees and the vendors let's come to the performance of our company of your company our business recorded a stable year of performance in financial year 2021 also it is with the great pride and honor that i inform all of you that our company has touched one of its benchmark and effective from 1st september 2021 your company has migrated to from the sme to main board of national stock of india limited during the pandemic situation the company committed itself to contribute for the betterment of the world we live in by providing high quality product at affordable prices during the first wave of covid-19 pandemic servotec took the initiative and launched various uvc products like uvc disinfectant lamp handheld devices robot truck etc which are used for sanitization of home offices hotels uh, factories etc for carrying out its economic activity in a safe manner your company efforts got appreciated by the german government and under ppp they gave us a grant in the project of 1 million euro for that they conducted many tests on our uvc products and after that vd germany certified your products can kill covid viruses more than 99% during the second wave your company introduced oxygen concentrators to serve the affected people needless to mention the huge role of the oxygen concentrator in saving lives your company assured quick and timely delivery to the customers we have gone through different types of covid pandemic since last two years in view of which your company has decided to foray into the field of medical devices manufacturing since we are already working in the field of lighting and solar and we want to keep both separate so your company decided to form a subsidiary company for medical devices in which your company is starting to make oxygen concentrators and uvc lights in this your technology partner is iit jammu and isro these projects are a great stepping stone to promote the vocal for local drive and to provide necessary products to deal with the pandemic scenario it is said that impossible only means that you have not found the solution yet we might with the this motto and promise to stand with the nation and do the best we can resulting that despite the pandemic induced volatility in the business environment your company marked some significant milestones for years we have been working to build a greener tomorrow in line with our commitment produce green to live green and i want to you want you all to know that your company has successfully concluded an international project between india and german government which is solar power microgrid battery energy storage system which has been tweeted by me on twitter the project indo german solar partnership project is contributing towards india's renewable energy goals and is supported by the federal ministry for economic cooperation and development now coming to the corporate social responsibility of your company despite of non applicability of csr provision on the company for us csr is more than a statutory mandate we donated oxygen concentrators to serve the mankind save as many love as we can before i conclude let me say that now we standing the uncertainty of the external environment we are confident that our business will continue to surpass benchmarks and achieve new milestones while making headways in a new opportunities it has been a journey worth being a part of and nothing says that allowed as you are enduring faith in our vision of growth we value this relationship deeply and believe it with continue to be mutually rewarding for years to come i would like to conclude by saying that belief and persistence are vital currencies at any point in life more so now at this difficult period 
so keep believing in servotech and servotech will persist with doing what it does with best providing you with the energy to make a difference in your life now i hand over to priya pande company secretary for taking you through the agenda items and other proceedings for the meeting thank you sir the notice convening this meeting audited financial statements of the company for the year ended 31st march 2021 and the director's report had already been emailed to shareholders and are taken as read we have eight resolutions for approval in this annual general meeting number 1 the first item on the notice relates to the adoption of audited financial statements of the company for the financial year ended 31st march 2021 together with the reports of board of directors and auditors thereon number 2 the second item on the notice relates to appointment of a director in place of mrs sarika bhatia who retires by rotation and being eligible offers herself for reappointment third the third item on the notice relates to reappointment of mr raman bhatia managing director for a period of 5 years with effect from 1st of june 2022 the fourth item on the notice relates to appointment of dr rajesh bhuvan roy as non executive independent director of the company the fifth item on the notice relates to appointment of mr anupam gupta as the non executive independent director of the company the sixth item on the notice relates to reappointment of mr sahil khurana as an independent director for a second term of five consecutive years the seventh item on the notice relates to reappointment of mr gupta jalan and associates as the statutory auditors of the company the eighth and the final item on the notice relates to appointment of mrs uh, nn sharma and associates as the cost auditors of the company since this meeting is held through video conferencing facility and resolutions are put through vote only through e voting and the practice of proposing and seconding of resolutions are dispensed with the auditor's report does not contain any qualification reservation or adverse marks i take the auditor's report as read since there are no qualifications observations or comments or other remark in the secretarial auditor's report for the year ended 31st march 2021 i take the secretarial auditor's report as read considering non receipt of any query from members we are not holding any interactive or question answer session now pursuant to the provisions of companies act 2013 and the sebi listing regulations the company has provided facility for voting by electronic means to all its members to enable cast their votes electronically and the business may be transacted through such e voting for this purpose the company has tied up with the e voting system of nsdl for facilitating voting through electronic means as the authorized agency the company provided remote e voting facility to all the persons who are members on the cut off date that is 22nd of september 2021 to vote on the business as set out in the notice of agm members attending the meeting today and who have not casted their votes by remote e voting are entitled to exercise their right of vote. right of e voting mr devabhata devnath company secretaries has been appointed by the board of directors as scrutinizers for e voting today the results will be declared within 48 hours from the conclusion of this agm after considering the e voting done today by the members and also the report re- e voting done previously by certain members the results along with the scrutinizer report shall be submitted to stock exchanges that is nsc and will also be placed on the website of the company and on the website of the nsdl with this now we are moving towards the concluding note and for that i would request dr rajesh mohan roy sir to please give us the concluding note So you have to unmute yourself. Thank you, Priya. Thank you so much, and I uh, thank uh, our chairman, chairperson, Mr. Raman Bhatia, for leading from the front. Uh, thank you, everyone, uh, members attending the AGM today, who have already not casted their vote by remote e-voting. May cast their vote as on the e-voting platform now. You are being provided 15 minutes for e-voting. further the declared results of the voting shall be placed on the website of the company and on the website of the national stock national securities depository limited and on the stock exchange that is national stock exchange of india i once again thank you all for participating in the agm and i i hereby declare the proceedings as closed thank you very much thank you all thank you for attending the agm thank you
can be logged out now. Thank you, all of you.